Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at adding audio files. This time we're going to look at the embed an audio player onto your Google site so viewers don't have to download that that audio file onto their computer. They can view it directly from their site. So let's take a look at how that's done. I'm going to go over here to a little sandbox site here and as you can see we've embedded already a little player uh, for the audio recording and if I click on that uh, Hopefully everything will work out. It starts to kick in and there it goes. And we can change that and we can change the volume right here on that as well. So how did we create that? Well, first of all, it's important to remember that any audio file that you or your students create first needs to be uploaded to your Google site as an attachment to the bottom of a page or possibly using the file cabinet style page where we've brought up a number of audio files. Once you've done that, you will find the download button. And the download button contains some information we're going to use, whether it's this download button or possibly the download button uh, to the right of the uploaded file. There it is right there. So once I have that, I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to get something called copy link location or copy link address, depending on the browser that you're using. So if I copy that, I'm ready to go. I will need that file uh, address as I begin to build. So let's reconstruct what we have right here. I'm going to click on Edit Page. I'm going to place my cursor where I would like that gadget to go. Go to the Insert menu. Slide down to More Gadgets. And we're going to be searching the public area. Be sure you click on Public. And the first one we're going to look at here does require those quote marks. If you don't have those, it won't find it for some reason. Not quite sure. It's called Google Audio Player. Quotes. And let's do a search. Now there are two of them that pop up. I've been using this one quite a bit. It's been working very nicely, so I'm going to select it. And yes, that's the one I want. I'm going to select that gadget little dialog box will come up and it's going to ask me for where that mp3 file is located and they gave you a little sample here so I'm going to highlight all that and I'm going to paste the address and the address does contain the location of that file you can have it auto start meaning that when the page is opened up the audio file will immediately start playing yes or no I'm going to say no in this case I want the user to control that and you can actually have a container color if you'd like to do that. That's just an HTML code uh, for those colors. You can go to uh, the web and do a little search for HTML color codes. There's a lot of them out there. So if you have a particular color in mind, you can pick that color. That's a, that's a nice red right there. If I click on that, it's going to show me here. And that is the code I would use uh, for the color if I'd like to do that. So I'm going to copy that. That's awful fun and get back to my page I was working on here. And so I'm going to paste that color code right there. I can change the display width and height if I wish, and I can change the title. So I'm just going to change that to uh, Sample Recording. So I'm done. Let's click OK. Like any other gadget, you won't see it until you click on Save on your page. So let's click on Save. And once that page is saved, notice I do have a little bit of a color there, and I do have the name of that recording. And if I click on that recording, it will begin to load and to play for our viewers as well. So let's take a look at another uh, recording audio that we have that we can use at our Google site. Now, just like before, remember, we're going to have to get the location of that audio file before we begin. So here's that download button. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to copy link location or address depending on your web browser. So I have that in memory. I'm going to go to the page I'm interested in placing that gadget. I'm going to edit the page. And once I edit the page, I can place my cursor where I would like that gadget to go. That looks good. Let's go to insert and more gadgets. 
going to click on public. And a second gadget we found that's been working so far uh, is called Embed Music. Let's see what we have. Now we scroll down, there's the Embed Music gadget. This is the one I want, so I'm going to select. Now just like the previous gadget, we were able to paste that location right in that area. Here's our color background, if we'd like to use a color background. And if I'd like to do that, I'm going to go grab this color again here. That's all fun. And simply paste that. Now we have a couple of more little tools here on this particular gadget. We do have an auto start, yes or no. We have a hidden, yes or no, or loop it, keep playing it, yes or no. Let's just do the auto start to see if that's going to work out for us this time. We can change our displays. We can even give it uh, title. I'm going to leave embed music that will remind us which gadget I'm using. Click on OK. Now keep in mind we can always get back to those tools by clicking on the properties. Let's see how that works. Let's click on save. And I'm going to refresh that page. We'll make just a moment for that page to get in there. There it goes. It started to started to autoplay. It takes a few seconds for it to start. Well, if I don't want that to autoplay, I can always go back and edit that page. And just like any other gadget, I should be able to go in and change those features. Click on OK and save my page. Usually takes a few moments for that to load and there it is ready to go. Well, hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day.